Hi, everybody. All right, so I, I hate to gloss over this part. So in the last video, we ended with me getting ready to start wiring up the circuit breaker board. Uh, all the video of that got destroyed. Uh, you know, I apologize. You didn't really miss too much. Let me just show you a few pictures here. So here it is in the very beginning with a couple of wires done. Here it is in the middle. And here we are at the end. All right? Notice the use, uh, the prodigious use of wire ties. No, I, I know I've got lacing tape, and that's what I really want to use. But at the time, I just didn't. I only had one hand, and I can't do lacing tape with one hand. But I can certainly do a wire tie with one hand and then pull it with my teeth. So, yeah, that's what you got there. Okay, so before we get into what we're working on here, uh, do notice the, uh, that is the WASP GPS antenna on the, uh, sitting on the bottom part of the workbench there. Uh, I apologize for being extremely tardy today. Uh, today was a very exciting day, which I will tell you about soon. Uh, I helped my uh, friend get his plane out of uh, my new hangar. So, you know I'm in a hangar now, but let's just say that there's a, some new 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 digs are coming, and it's and it's pretty sweet. Uh, don't want I don't want to jinx it, so I don't you know. But you'll you'll find out about it soon. All right. So in this video, well, apparently I'm getting on the ground and searching for things. Uh, we are working on some wiring. So right, we've got the circuit breaker panel all wired up, and so now we are actually working on wiring in the second com radio. In fact, here is a demonstration of actually melting on a solder splice to some wires. So what we're doing, is, the, the, here's the backstory. So bought the first comm uh, unit. First it's a GT200B, right? So that's the Garmin transmitter, it's a uh, Bluetooth. And when I hooked it in, couldn't get any audio coming out. So I let Garmin know and I bought the second uh, comm, which you can actually see in the bot bottom right hand corner there. And I think I've talked about this before. Uh, it's the remote comm. I put it in and heard the sound perfectly well, right? Everything was great. Uh, unfortunately, so I've m mailed off that radio, the first radio, back to Garmin, and they're going to send me a new one. Great. So while that's happening, uh, I'm here, and I'm wiring in the second comm location. So what I'm doing is actually going to have a shelf... Uh, right next to where my body is over there is the original hole for the glove box. Well, there is no glove box. But it's a hole that I can easily get my hand through. So there's going to be a shelf behind that and the firewall, which will have the remote uh, comm unit on it. So the wiring for that is actually going to come from behind... Uh, towards the right side, underneath the sub-panel, and then go through the front of that hole. I could have brought it around the back. The problem is, uh, if I ever needed to work on that wire, that would be a big pain in the ass. I don't like those. So, just having the wire up, uh, wrapping around towards the front is exactly what I want. Uh, remember, so when I'm wiring up this G3X unit, when I say unit, it's 15 different boxes, I'm wiring this thing so that if I need to, I can disconnect every piece of the of the uh, entire package, and I can take all the wiring and pull it to the back of the panel next to the firewall. If I needed to, I could take the whole thing out. Right? Uh, it's great, but I mean, you wind up, you know, using a little bit of extra wire because I, you know, to go from place to place, I could just be drilling holes uh, and shoving wire through, and then attaching them to the connectors for the units, but I, I don't need that, so it's easier just to do it this way. Yeah, it's a little more bundling and some more wire tie work, but in the end, it's, you know, it's, it's fine. So uh, what we're doing here now is I'm removing, this was originally a little two-place terminal block that I was going to use to hook up all of the landing lights, and then that way I could only have one wire going up to the panel. Well, I never wound up using it, so here you can see that area that I was talking about. You can actually see the hookup for the comm there on the left. Uh, I'm using this terminal block to actually hook up the LED lights. All right, so the electronic controller is 
on the other side of the sub panel from this and so that's where all of your LED lights go that's where your DC light bus stuff goes so like all the displays right there on the they're on the lighting bus uh, wasp unit all that so you can dim them so they're all gonna wind up coming over here and that's a it's a really cool thing uh, we actually wind up expanding that terminal because it's not it's not big enough so all right, again, sorry about the lateness, uh, but too good of a day for me. Uh, thanks for joining me, everyone, and see you soon.